Okay, so this is the eye of Haru. The other eye is the eye of Ra, which is powerful. It means it's like your first eye, or some people call your third eye, your pineal gland. That eye means that I'm in contact with the Creator, and I know without even being told. I can feel it. I can sense it. It's like an instinct of a uh, of the most dynamic predators. And so they're tapping into that energy. When you tap into it, it's the evil eye. When you tap into it, it's satanic. And that's on purpose. The idea is to keep you as far away from your stuff as possible. Heru. Heru is nothing but the third eye and the soul. So I always attract this stuff. It's inside of us. We are the Nibiru. You will think of a person and the person will call your ass. This thing is happening more and more. You can, not only that, you'll be riding with somebody and you'll think of a thought and the person will say your thought. That means that we are, there's things that is happening and we are more advanced than what we thinking we are. It's just that you keep thinking that we are just the regular people and they got you focused on the shit that they want you to focus on on their news. And in the black community, everything is taboo. We don't talk. You see what I'm saying? We don't, we don't discuss certain things. We're the ones that don't talk about nothing. Because it's taboo for us to talk about certain things. It also made me feel free also because, like, I'm going to just be honest. It's people out here that's gifted. It's people that can see beyond the veil. They can see into the spiritual realm. I mean, you know, like I tell people, spirits ain't never try to hurt me. <laughs> the people was the monsters. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, and it's, it's people that see that and for people that think I'm weird, hey, I'm winning. I don't care what you think. <laughs> right. But once I, I had a fear of being looked at like I was crazy mm -hmm. for speaking about spiritual things. And then I, once I came out and just started speaking about it, so many people like, man, my grandmother used to tell me that uh, I done had this happen to me. It's things that's unexplained. Mm -hmm. But there's just supernatural events that happen with us to let us know that there's a greater presence, that there's a creator, it's a greater right. design than what we see on the physical. Timeless because it comes from the celestial court. Like, I'm just a vessel. All of the holy names in the celestial court, even the secret names. So it's a blessing.